students so first chapter is completed okay today i will start the second chapter that is matrices and determinants okay uh, so having any doubts on first chapter ask me freely with the call or any whatsapp okay whatsapp for any um, any problem doubt idea and then the message aage solve maadi ante ne return maadi okay na so first chapter alli any doubts idro cover maadi सो ओमर प्रॉब्लम मत ओमर प्रॉब्लम को असैनमेंट के कवर मैं सेकेंड चाप्टर इन मैथ्स दट इस मैट्रीस एंड डिटर्मेंट सो ओमर चाप्टर्स इज वेरी ड्यू नॉटे सो दो मस्ट भी कंप्लीटेड विदिन ए थ्री मंथ्स ओके सो आलरे वन मंथ इज कंप्लीटेड फस्ट चाप्टर इज फिनिश्ड इट टेक्स सम टाइम सो ओके so matrices and determinants so those are uh, what are the topics uh, in uh, bca those are all in pu syllabus okay pu topics so it is not much difficult to understand those topics okay so now uh, now you have an idea about matrices okay na so idea idea about matrices but okay uh, uh, second pu second pu dalle okay na second pu dalle matrices and determinants both chapters so it सो अदे सें टापिक कवर अल्ले फैंड मैं मैट्रीस तुम्हें अलग बरबू सड़न इट्स एंड आर्डर ओके आर्डर विलीमेंट्स अंत कवर मी नंबर्स अंत तक आर एनी आलोबेटिक्स अंत तक सो मैट्रीस अगे मैट्रीस यूज मी वै शुड वि यूज टू दो टापिक इन मैथमेटिक्स आर डईली लाइफ अंत ग कामन इट इस यूज इन दि पर्पस् आफ् इंजीनियरी ओके इंजीनियरी पर्पस्कोर इंट्रड्यूस सो ऐन मैट्रीस बे सो नंबर आफ् प्रॉब्लम्स ओके सो अवेलिए सिंपल आंड कांप्लीकेटेड बरवं प्रॉब्लम ना ईजीय वित् स्मा टाइम कड़मे टाइमली ना साव रिसलट तोर्सलवा सो आ पर्पस्कोर ना सम चाप्टर्स इंट्रड्यूस फॉर दो पर्पस् सो लाइक दट मैट्रीस इज आलो वि वन आफ द टापिक दट इस हेल्पुल इन इंजीनियरी स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो टू दिस्ट द मैट्रीस ओके सो दिस सेकेंड चाप्टर मैट्रीस एंड डिटर्मिट्स मैट्रीस एंड Okay. So first we have to cover the matrices chapter. Then we have to come for determinants. So first you take an idea about how to solve the matrices. It is simple, basic. How to addition, how to subtraction, how to multiplication. In a type of mat uh, multiplication of two matrices, that is give some uh, difficulty. It is not. It is some confusion. Yeah. So, what are the rows? What are the columns? Those ideas must be you know. Yeah. Okay. Come to the definition of the matrices. So, what is matrices? Matrices. So, matrices and they go. Matrices and they go. So, arrangement of elements and they. Elements mean it is a numbers, are alphabetics, are anything. This name. Okay, now those are also have uh, elements called as elements. Elements means some they are some thing. Okay, now things and they are both. So whatever it may be. So that those are all elements. Okay. So those elements are arranged in rows and columns. Matrices and such in the form of the good rows and the columns and the in the form of it. Okay, now rows and the columns and the in the in the form of matrices and the. So that the matrices mean arrangement of numbers or elements or or alphabets or any things, okay? Now in rows and columns within a bracket. If in this uh, two brackets only they are used in matrices to so represent the matrices. So one is the open bracket or square bracket. Okay? Now these are any one bracket they have to use not both. Okay? Now every one is not part of the time okay? So I give uh, either you use to this or uh, this type of the bracket, not this one. Open or closed the bracket, you use one bit. Now, so what is okay? Uh, take definition. So an arrangement of an arrangement of arrangement of 
Animals. Animals. It's the number ten. Don't look for me. Okay, na arrangement of elements in rows and rows and columns. Rows and columns. Within a within a bracket. Within a bracket. Bracket are we? Yeah, the brackets are. Okay, na. Within a bracket is called is called a matrices. Is called a matrices. Okay, this is the definition of matrices. Okay, the number that form matrix are called the elements of the matrix. What are those number? Those are called as elements. So not need to write in here. Okay, just you know. In elements and the numbers they are called for this. Those are all called as an element something we call matrix. Next to the matrices how we are denoted by denoted by S. The matrices are denoted only by capital letter. So I will give a link to so last chapter and this chapter. Okay, then you are easily understand and easily memory. You know, easily learn to go. So how the matrices are denoted, how the logical that is statements are denoted, okay, like that you have to use to simple connections, okay. So these matrices are denoted by only capital letters, by capital letters, okay, capital letters, like watch A, B, C, okay. Within a brackets, what are those elements are there? Those are all write in small letters. Okay, uh, it's not compulsory. It's basically we view capital letter is here to representation of matrices. Uh, automatically have to give small letter inside of this bracket that is elements in the bracket. If it is number, no, no need. Or uh, it's not to worry. So if you take uh, uh, alphabet, uh, on that purpose you must. Um, you must uh, write the elements in small letters. Okay. So that is one. So denoted by the capital capital letter A B C. And then, um, so what? Uh, if a matrix has n rows and n columns, then A is called the matrix of order. If matrix if matrix has n rows and n columns and rows and n columns then the order of the matrix okay? then the order of the matrix then the order of the matrix is called then the order of the matrix is matrix is n cross n this symbol is called what cross okay? don't tell uh, don't say uh, Hindu. Okay? It is to be like Hindu, but not uh, uh, used in matrices. Okay? It is called as cross. M cross N. Because M rows with the hand columns are little. So then I have the to be order of the matrix. So what is order of the matrix? So the one mark of You have to write out the issue. Okay? Let's next to take an example. Take an example for matrices. Example. Okay. Example. So take A equals to. I will first show maybe how do I use the square part of this one. Because I don't need to confuse the, this chapter. Because sometimes uh, in uh, problems or anything, we have, we have to use to this so open bracket for a simplification. For that, I use to compulsory square bracket uh, from beginning to end. Okay. So it's better to use square bracket. Okay. But open bracket is not uh, false. It is also a right thing. So A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. This is one example. So tell me what is the order of the matrix. Once again A, B, P, Q, S, A equals to some elements are written. 
what are the numbers? Those are all called as elements. Okay. Even numbers in the elements and this square bracket, those are all called as elements of this matrix. Okay. Even the elements are made of elements. Okay. So, are the arrangement of elements? Okay. Elements in rows and columns. This we call it as rows. Row. Okay. Similar to this, there is row. Okay. This we call it as so those are columns when the order of matrix is denoted by m cross n. This is taken, row is taken as n, column is taken as n. So what is the order of this matrix? How much rows are there? So 1, 2, 3. There are 3 rows. So that's why I will write it as 3. Then cross. So column. So 1, 2. There are 2 columns. So I will get 3 cross. Okay, here, so three rows and two columns. So this is the order of the matrix. So what is the order of this matrix? Is three cross two. What are the rows? So this is the row. This is column. Okay, come to the second problem, second example. So first one is A B. So what, uh, how much rows are there? Yes, there are two rows. So one, two, so we get two. Thus column is one, two, three, four. So there are four columns. So it will be two plus four. Na? So two plus four. So two rows and four columns. Here is three, three rows and two columns. So these are all called the elements of the map. So this is simple. Okay, then go for the types of matrices. Types of matrices. I will divide. You can make note of that. Types of matrices. So first one is null matrix. Null matrix or empty matrix. Empty matrix. Matrix. It is similar. Empty matrix or zero. So this oh, is null or empty have zero matrix. All those are same. A matrix in which a matrix as name itself says. Okay. So a matrix in which in which each element in which each element as zero. In which each element as zero. Now the matrix is the entire element so in a zero alphabet. How do we know null matrix? Null matrix or zero matrix or empty matrix. All those are empty matrix is not zero is okay. Empty matrix is okay but element is zero. So zero matrix. Element has zero. It is called, is called, is called zero matrix. Is called zero matrix. It is denoted by denoted by the symbol that is four. Example examples are not here. Zero, 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 zero. You must write the denotation. If you not write this one, it is not a matrix. It is not considered as a matrix. Only this is sufficient and necessary for matrices. Okay. Next is null matrix. Row matrix. Next one is row matrix. Row matrix. 
a matrix in which each a matrix having only one row is called a matrix having having only only one row only one row is called is called row matrix we can be denoted by any letters row matrix that is one cross n so only row will be and also the columns zero will be there correct so i'm going to name it as it is it is row matrix and then so we get example and the only row not column and the n number of columns is whatever but the row must be what one cross n common way that is the uh, row matrix so that is one don't write comma one three four this is one cross three always the row matrix is in format of one cross n next for column matrix column matrix column matrix s yes. a matrix having only one column a matrix having write in here only okay a matrix a matrix this is row matrix to this yes next a matrix having only one column having only one column is called column matrix that is denoted by m cross n sorry m cross 1 example example for column matrix only one for one column but how much rows are there in okay. 1 3 4 so this is 1 3 cross 1 Next one. Next is square matrix. Square matrix. Square matrix. A matrix. A matrix are with same number of rows and columns. A matrix in which matrix in which in which number of rows number of rows number of rows is equal to number of number of columns number of rows is equal to number of columns matrix in which number of rows is equal to the number of columns is called a square is called a square matrix is called a square matrix then square matrix mein rows mein the columns are equal equal hai but hum kya hai yahan par order in and the same hai so two cross two three cross three four cross four hai na hard four aur the other way but hum yahan par the square matrix right example One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is denoted by A. So this is three cross three. Okay, three times. Rows, what are called same. Next one. So what in this one observe? So what are diagonal elements? What are diagonal elements? Yes, the elements from left to right to the bottom. Now. top to bottom and left to right element same here right? na so these are all these are called the diagonal elements okay these are diagonal diagonal elements in the table diagonal elements okay. next go for rectangular matrix rectangular matrix Okay, a matrix in which number of rows is not equal to number of columns, then we call it as a rectangular matrix. Rectangular, sir. So only opposite sides are equal. Okay, rectangular definition is opposite sides are equal. 
same definition as comes here rectangular rectangular matrix a matrix in which number of rows is not is not equal to number of columns is called a rectangular matrix so only a is Two plus three. Number of rows are not equal to the number of columns. This is what the rectangular matrix. Okay. Next one is next one diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix. A matrix in what type of the what we call diagonal? Diagonal matrix. So now diagonal matrix and square matrix series. A square matrix is a diagonal matrix. But very large matrix is diagonal matrix and different model. So diagonal elements is the diagonal elements is not given in this matrix. So for that we are not taking that the rectangular matrix is a diagonal matrix. So, a square matrix and a diagonal matrix and a square matrix in which all the elements are zero except the diagonal elements. All the elements are zero. A square, this is compulsory matrix. A square matrix in which all the diagonal elements, all the elements are all the Elements are zero. All the elements are zero except except the diagonal elements. Except the diagonal elements is called is called is called diagonal matrix. Is called diagonal matrix. Example for diagonal matrix. Example for diagonal matrix. Example. Matrix P equals to one zero 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 two zero zero zero. Diagonal matrix. So P equals to 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 4. This is the example for diagonal matrix. All elements are zeros except for this one. You, you can take square matrix only. You have to take square matrix. Either 2 cross 2, 3 cross 3, 4 cross 4, like that. This is for 3 cross, order is 3 cross. Okay. Next one is. Scalar matrix. Scalar matrix. For scalar matrix also, it must be a square matrix. So, now diagonal matrix and the mention model. So, diagonal matrix is a square matrix, but no need to write here. So, scalar matrix and then a diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix in which all diagonal elements are one. The diagonal matrix in which all all diagonal elements are all diagonal all diagonal elements are one. All diagonal elements are one. So all diagonal elements are one. So all diagonal elements are one. So the scalar matrix and then call one. This one is called scalar matrix. For example, matrix A equals to A equals to 1, 0, 0. Uh, the initial 
a diagonal matrix in which all diagonal elements are one multiple, but other ones are whatever. You know? So, but a multiple to one or unity, no, no, only one. It is unity or same. One or same or unity. Okay, same over here. Next unit matrix, S unit matrix means a diagonal matrix in which the diagonal elements are diagonal elements are one. Look to one another. Last two definitions scalar matrix again, same as the body. Same as the body is equal or same as the that is for scalar matrix. So a scalar matrix be equal or same. So, scalar or next scale of the unit matrix. A diagonal matrix simply diagonal elements are 1. So, only 1 of them. So, you may not have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Diagonal elements are must be 1. This is the unit matrix. Next one is algebra of matrix. So algebra of matrix I will just to show one example. Okay. Definition is not made for example. No, just understand the topic. Algebra of matrix. Algebra of matrix means Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. But division is not needed here in this chapter. In matrices, division is not included. You know? So only three. Uh, in three, addition of two matrices, three matrices, or whatever. So then subtraction of matrices and the last is scalar matrix. And another one is multiplication of matrix. Scalar matrix is different from multiplication of matrix. So algebra of algebra of matrices. Algebra of matrices. So first one is addition of matrices. Addition of matrices. Addition of matrices. Just take. So we took the plus two matrix. R then must be same. Two matrices. If A and B are two B 
ini ar to matrices they must act same order adu order ya irukku same order in no that we are going to order of two matrices order of two matrices must be same ಸಬ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ next equality of two matrices equality of two matrices equality of two matrices ke definition so equality of equality of two matrices a matrix is said to be equal two matrices matrix matrices is said to be is said to be equal is said to be equal if they have same number of order if they if they they order is same order is same and corresponding 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 elements are same elements also same okay idu definition idu example maandre paathu kodu andre elements same aagbeku so if they has to find if they give two matrices they have to find the value of any x y like that then you can understand this is 2a plus a plus b a plus b this is 1 a plus b 1 example of problem sum of the problem okay and this and the last of this case next another one is scalar multiplication of matrices scalar multiplication of matrices scalar multiplication of matrices scalar multiplication of the matrices scalar multiplication of the matrices a matrix of order n cross n then k b means ಸ್ಕೇಲಾರ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಕೆ ಬಿ ಎನಿ ಸ್ಕೇಲಾರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ತಗೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಎನ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಎನ್ then kb in scalar kb in scalar matrix and kb in scalar then k into a is a scalar is a scalar multiplication of multiplication of matrix okay it's called as scalar multiplication of example a equals to 1 to 3 you know b uh, then k is any scalar k into a equals to k into this 1 to 3 4 this is equals to k 2k 3k 4 it just multiply that uh, scalar term inside the square bracket that is the scalar multiplication of the matrices 